<clears throat> Today I will be reviewing the, the Uproar Series 6. Let's see how long it takes to turn on. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, twelve Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, fifteen Mississippi, sixteen Mississippi, seventeen Mississippi. 18 Mississippi, 19 Mississippi. Okay, it took 18 seconds to load. Now, now the Upload Series 3 doesn't have that much good of a battery life. Let's check the battery percentage on this thing. Battery? Battery health is at maximum capacity 90%. Okay. How many wallpapers do I have? One, wait. One, two, three, four. This is the one I mostly use. What kind of apps do I have? Let's start with my favorite one, WatchTube. Wait for it to load. Takes a little while to load. Okay, okay let's choose a random video. Okay. Okay, now let's choose this one. Let's choose this war zone one. If you click on it, let it load. Click on this, wait like two seconds. Wait, I think you have to wait for that loading bar. Yep, and then once this pops up, just press play. I got access to the same Warzone lobbies that oh. Nadia plays in, and here's how it went. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. You control the volume using oh, this. Oh, thank you for the plate. If you want to exit, just press that. I choose another random video. Do not view this ingredient, let's just choose that one. And if you're wondering why, basically with the approach you see my old one, it would just turn off randomly and lock up so I'd have to enter the password. Um, The reason it's happening right now is because I'm running a developer beta. If you really want to see it, just give me a minute. I just need to find it. Okay. Boom, there you go. Watch OS 9.1. You can look up you can look that up. It is in fact the developer beta. So that's why um it's acting like this. It's just a developer beta. Okay, let's shoot this one. Do not fear this ingredient. Okay, let it load, give it a minute. It's a watch and I'm impressed I can even watch this. Okay, let it load, give it a minute. Just a tiny touch of this mm. shrimp cake. Easily the least appetizing ingredient we're using today, but just like it's fish sauce. Money, and if you really want to see, if you want even more proof, give me a minute. There's also this thing you can download called a flick type keyboard. You go in and then once you download this, you, you can go in a setting to click enable flick type. The reason I have it is because um, it, it's just really hard to type, especially when you're looking through a camera. Dude, I hate the autocorrect on this too. This is my main problem with it. It's just way too small, but yeah. And if you do have that problem, well, then you can just do this. Boom, there you go. There you go, done. 
For some reason, I won't let you search that. You have to search it with quotation marks. I don't know why. Okay, let's search it. Mr. Beast. Give it a minute to load. I, one thing I really don't like is that you can't, like, sign in a YouTube channel. One thing the watch tube app could really use is that, it like, you could, like, get your phone near you, right? And then you could just, like, enter your email and password, and then it would log you into your YouTube account, so then that way it could get all your recommendations. Okay. Okay, look, 100% Extreme Hide and Seek Challenge. Let it load. Give it a minute. Okay. Once it clicks play, give it a minute. I got 100 of my subscribers and gave them each $10,000. And mm -hmm. I also... So yeah, it can run YouTube and I think it can also run YouTube, TikTok, but you have to get a different app for that. You can check the weather. Let's see the local weather. A 54 degree quality is 54, which is moderate. UV index is 1. One speed is three miles per hour, humidity 82%, dew 0.52, visibility 15 miles, perfectly clear. Okay. Okay, then let's check the activity thing. Now it is early in the morning, so obviously it's not going to be full. Okay. You can also check your heartbeat. Wait, wrong thing. Okay, boom, you can check your heartbeat. It can... Uh, uh, you click on this app and it can check your blood oxygen levels. Now you do need the series six at the minimum to use it. But um, I really don't like to use the iTunes or music feature on this thing because it's just so clunky for me, too complicated. Like with my series few one, I think you needed your phone near you, and I didn't want to go through all that just to use the simple app. So what I did was that I would put my phone on the ground like this. I would play a video, right, and then I would press record on you and play on there. And then when the video ended, I would press pause on here and then label the video. Boom, like if you really want thing, look. Okay, that's all you're getting because of copyright. But yeah, look, I have a spectacular Spider-Man not hiring at Freddy's. Like it or not, we can't show the Michael Jackson versus Elvis Presley, Rick Grimes versus Walter White, Jim Henson versus Stanley. Elon Musk vs. Mark Zuckerberg, Ronald McDonald vs. Burger King, Joker vs. Pennywise, Donald Trump vs. Joe Biden, They'll Find You, It's Me, Out of Stock, Darkest Desire, FNAF, Big Band Vision, To Be Beautiful, Make Your Move, Count the Ways, Morbius, Full Trailer, More Milo, Dancing Morbius, I really just like, I only listen to that for like inspiration when I'm running, right, like the music just makes me run faster, right. Morbius, Beethoven, People Are Strange, Captain Underpants, Full Theme Song, Superstitious Foundation, Labyrinth, It's Been So Long Remix, Left Behind Remix, I Can't Fix You Remix, Darkest Desire Clap, Lonely Freddy 80s Remix, FNAF Fetchies Remix, FNAF Into the Pages Remix, and Queen K, which is like, I'm smoking Queen, I listen to this, right? But basically with my old upload Series 3, what would happen is that I would do this, but then it wouldn't let me play it. What would happen is that it would be grayed out, and then he would have a, cl a cloud icon. I don't know why, but that doesn't seem to be happening anymore. We go into Messages. Let's go to here. Okay, yeah, but... And also, the uploads can play videos... Fine! No, I'm not playing that video, right? See? The uploads can play videos fine, so one thing I really don't like is the fact that simply... um When I... Is the fact simply that when I go into the, this thing, recent, nothing's practically there. No videos, at least. Well, there is a dip but no videos. This can track your heartbeat. I mean, your sleep, like your REM and stuff, but I didn't want to sleep last night. It can also set up multiple alarms. Right? I don't know why I still have this actually. That apps. So, never mind. I'm not getting rid of that. This isn't this. Tells you how many decibels is in the current environment. This is an emoji, I mean me emoji. This is the camera thing that opens up the camera on your phone. This is the exercise app, I use it a lot. Um, This is the breathe app, it like lets you breathe like to calm you down. This is the tips app, that'll you know show you new tips, the shortcuts app. 
right? And you can download more apps. I think you can even read mail. Yeah, but um, I will see. Yeah, so yeah, but um, if I were you, I wouldn't run the developer beta. And the only reason I download the developer beta is because um, I got the developer beta on this thing when when the when Watch OS Nine was not to the public, right? The only way you could run Watch OS Nine was the developer beta, and not even the public version was out yet, right? You can use Siri. Wait, oh, that's all the thing is. You can use Siri, look. This Siri. Right, this is running Watch OS 9.1. Oh, I forget you have to autofocus every single time. This is the Reminders app. This can, you know, allow you to control your TV. And yeah, there's a lot more, even if you go into settings. I'm not showing you all of that. Look, software update, checking for update. I don't think there's an update, so yeah, I don't think anything will appear. But it kind of gets you because it goes for checking for update so long. And then, um, it, um, and then it says, oh, your watch is up to date. Oh. Right, like, oh, it's checking for update. Look, look, look. I go back, software update. I don't know why it does that. Like, why does it take so long to check for an update? But basically, um, with my old Apple Watch, you see, there was a problem where if I tried to install an update, it would say it was, yep, see, up to date. Basically, oh, yeah, it also has all these on screen that all these displays the time. So basically, what would happen is that when I would be... When I was in sixth grade, I would I'd bring my watch to school and then I would need to update, right? Update, but then whenever I would go out of settings, it would stop the download, right? It, and then I would have to download it. So whenever I had to update it, I would, I, I would have to be in the software update section all the time, like looking at it, saying downloading. So yeah. This also has a lot more things. You can ping your phone using this. It has cellular. The, there's also Wi-Fi. This is a flashlight thing, and if water water gets in here, look, you just press this down. Even the Series 3 has that, I think. But unfortunate news for Series 3 users, the Apple Watch Series 3 will no longer be getting with the newest watch OS simply because this the, it doesn't have enough memory, the chip is too old, and it's you know it's very hard to even put the watch OS 8 on it. This is do not disturb, right? School mode and all that text display size. Mm. Uh, mm. This also allows you to see the directions. Oh yeah, this is a calculator thing. One thing I don't like is that it can't divide negatives. But yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the Series 6. You can track your heartbeat and your blood oxygen levels. Now with your blood oxygen levels, your wrist, your waist, you know, this thing, it can't be on too tight, right? But it also can't be on too loose, so you have to find the middle. But one thing I also don't like is that if I wear it for too long, the back just doesn't, it just becomes weird. Like, it kind of warps out. You know how, like, when you leave something out in the sun for too long and then it warps? That's what this looks like. But you want to know how to fix it. If your Apple Watch, if the back of your Apple Watch does look weird, like, it kind of looks warped, just take two paper towels, soak one in water only a little bit, and then, and then rub it on the back side right here. And then rub the um dry one, and it should clean it. This is the digital crown, and there is a hole here. I thought it was a sim ejector. No, it turns out it's not. And then I thought what would happen is that when you were to use this on like a pin or something, what would happen is that this little thing, the side bone, would come up, come off, and um, 
it'd be like USB Type-C charger because I remember something about her plugging in a USB Type-C cable into an Apple Watch. Just like you plug it in and you connect it to an outlet. You don't need to use the wireless charging thing. So yeah, um, but if you do, if you are wondering about this, it is just a microphone. Do not use a SIM ejector tool or, or it could break it. Okay. And here are the speakers, right? And it's really nice. It's a really nice watch. I really enjoy it. So yeah, that's my review of this. If um, it's I'm yelling because some of my sisters yelling in the background. So yeah, I don't know why this won't autofocus though. Mm -hmm. Oh, now it did. And also, there's this little thing where if you're not using it, like does this. And it also has low power mode in Watch OS Nine. In Watch OS Nine. Click on the battery. Uh, what you need to do is that you need to enter your password, swipe up, go to battery, and then click on low power mode. Low power mode. Save battery life by turning off always on display, which means the always on display is off, and limiting the sensors as well as the cellular and Wi Fi connections on of your Apple Watch. Notifications may be delayed and emergency alerts may not arrive. These will turn off features such as back on heart measurement heart rate notifications blood oxygen measurements you can select you can just turn it on or select how long you turn it on for or just dismiss it it also has a um silent mode look now i entered the password it just has a little vibration but yeah i really enjoy this thing it is a great fitness companion and it is also a great music listener right like sometimes i forget my phone at home but i still remember to bring my watch so it's a great music play when i don't have my phone and a great exercise tracker i would really recommend getting the series six or seven and if you really want to the eight but I wouldn't get the Series 3 because it's not getting um, the watchOS um, 9 update, right? So I would suggest getting more of the newer ones so you can have more user support. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. And tell me what I can improve on and bye.